How to make a mind map using Canva. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another Canva tutorial and in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make a mind map. Now, let, first let's discuss what a mind map really is. A mind map is a map of one topic with different answers. So for example, if I were to show you what a mind map really looks like so it's like this you see this in presentations there's gonna be one uh, small box in the middle and it's gonna grow different routes uh, that show us different solutions answers basically this is mind mapping there's one big map in the middle and then there's different paths or regions that define that one little topic in the middle so yeah that's basically what a mind map really is and we're going to be learning how to create it on canva and i'm going to teach you how to make it in the easiest most simplest way possible and i'm going to guide you through the whole video and by the end of this video you're going to know how to fully make a proper mind map easily on canva so let's get right into it so first of all obviously we're going to go on canva.com now once you're on canva uh, let me tell you this, that you're going to want to know how to use Canva. You're going to want to know the basics of Canva and you're going to want to know how the interface works. So if you don't, you can just go on my channel and look up for the Canva tutorial I've made and just go through that tutorial because I've explained it in very simple and nice steps. And once you go through that, you'll fully know how to use Canva. So after you've gone through all of that, what you're going to want to do is come back to Canva right here and we're going to go in your search our content and we're going to write mind map now once we write mind map they're going to give us a template for mind map so we're just going to click on it and we're for it to load up so here we go now canva is such an amazing place because it gives you many 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 templates regarding whatever design you want to make so there are tons of different templates so for example let's go ahead let's take this one i like this template a lot so i'm going to go ahead with this one uh look at that look at how amazing this looks so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to move around with it we're going to look around and see what it is and for example if we don't have a lot of time and we don't really want to put a lot of work into this or we don't really want to get very creative then we can use templates that canva provides us with and we can just take this template and uh, put our own information in for example i can write project uh, adidas and then after that i can write here shoes here i can write hoodies i can write sales down here i can write uh, let's say marketing and down here I can write quality so basically this is what a mind map is it's basically uh, making your tasks easier so in shoes I'm also gonna do sales and I'm gonna do marketing marketing we're gonna do uh, quality so yeah this is the basic gist of it and then you're gonna change your information you can change the color of the background if you want to for example adidas is black and white so you're just going to try to make it black and white somehow so yeah basically that's the main gist of it and then you're going to go on share and you're just going to go on download and you're going to go in your file type you can either choose jpg or png png is obviously the best for quality so you're just going to go on png and then you're going to download it and that is how simple it is but this is for when you're not feeling too creative and you just want to get something off your head this is for that point now, if you want a blank canvas on which you can do whatever you want with the ease of your mind, you're going to go ahead and do it on a blank canvas. So we're just going to close this and we're going to come back here and we're going to click on create a blank. Now, what this does is it provides us with a blank canvas and tons and tons of features to run through our imagination. And what this does is it provides us with a platform to do whatever we like and create whatever we like so we're just gonna go ahead and play around with the elements uh, we're gonna give uh, this a solid color for example let's give it black now I'm gonna go in elements I'm gonna make the middle topic so I'm just gonna click on each 
box. Yeah, there we go. Here's a nice, let's take a nice uh, looking speech box. We're going to take that and I'm just going to make sure it's in the center. There we go. And you know what? I'm just going to make sure it's in the center again. Yeah, there we go. Then uh, I'm going to take a text box. I'm going to take text. I'm going to take that. Uh oh, yeah. There we go. I'm going to write some text. You know what? This I also don't. Let's take a small text. We're going to write Adidas. Obviously, you can change the font of all of this. Now set the text in the box. Now, once we've done that, we're going to do that. We're going to go back on elements. We're going to go to these speech boxes and we're going to take some. You know what? No, let's go on circles. Let's take this circle. I want to write my information regarding whatever I like in this circle. I want to write it in this circle. I want to write it in this circle. I want to write it in this circle. So I'm just going to spread the circles apart and you know, you can write whatever information you like in these circles, but obviously this looks very dry. So I want to somehow connect these circles. So I'm going to go and write arrows. Now, once I write arrows, look at these, we get all these tons of different arrow designs. Now you can go straight or you can just go with a bit of a doodle. I'm going to go with the doodle because I just like how it looks. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to rotate it, make it look a bit better. And then I'm going to align it right here with, and there we go. So you just do that again and again for each different now I'm going to do that with this and there we go. And then I'm going to do that do the same for this one. I'm just going to take it here. I'm just going to bring this right here. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same for this. So we're going to turn this over here. I'm going to bring that over here and we're going to bring this over here. So yeah, basically this is a basic mind map that we've created and then we can just start adding text. After that, we can start adding different graphics or elements that we want to add. For example, let's, let's just get some basic doodles. Uh, you know what? I'm going to write Adidas. And if we write that, uh, we can start adding elements. So here we go. I'm going to make these white. Look at that. I've made those white. I'm going to make sure it's a bit short. Now you can either keep it like that or you can mess around with the transparency so it gives a bit of... Um, a background uh, gradient look and look at that so basically you just start adding elements like that like this one like this or this one like this and yeah like this one we're just gonna put it here you know just like this and put it in the background just to make your mind map look much better than it usually is used to look once you've done all that, you're just going to go on share, you're going to go on download, go to file type, select PNG, and then you're going to download it. So yeah, that's how easy it is to make your very own mind map. I hope this video was helpful to you because uh, this was explained in the easiest and simplest steps I could have explained it in. So yeah, that's how simple and easy it was. I hope this guide was helpful to you. If you have any queries uh, regarded to this video, you can let me know down in the comments and I'll get back to you ASAP. If you want more content like this recording to Canva, please do let me know down in the comments and I will make more content for you. And uh, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. Share this video with as many people as you can and leave a nice comment down if you like the video. And yeah, I hope you have an amazing day. And that's all from me. Goodbye.